you were an understudy for a bit? I imagine I was that. an understudy. Yes, which I highly recommend. Uh, I, was, I was an understudy for a play called Gemini, 1980. Uh, Danny Aiello was in it, a few other people. Bob Picardo, who went on to do Star Wars, stuff like that. Reed Burney, uh, Jonathan Dari, and I'll keep going. Uh, uh, <laughs> but, but anyway, 1980, I was an understudy. There were like six roles, I'm going to say, three men, three women. I understudied four men. I understudied the three young guys. And, uh, and I had to learn, I mean, three different support, and they're on stage, so it's like blue, red, yellow. I mean, the whole script is, I had it all down. I was ready. Picardo, I think, was so sick one night. At five to eight, he was puking into a bucket. They were holding the bucket. I'm in the costume, ready to go. And he goes, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, and he goes. So it's five months of never going on. So at 8 o'clock comes, they all go on once again. So I slip out the back door, go down to the apartment, my little one room on 23rd Street, and I'm watching the Rangers hockey game. One night the phone rings. It's the stage manager. What are you doing? Well, Rangers are up two to one. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. And I come, and now I had to say goodnight to him at 10 o'clock every night. So you had to stay all the way through. Yeah, I had to stay all the way through and watch other people do it. <laughs> you, uh, 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 you mentioned the Rangers. I know uh, you to be a sports fan. And there, I'm always curious about this Broadway softball league uh, that happens uh, where different shows... Do you have one with the TV thing? Or... Every now and then, yeah. There's Every now and then we, uh, we go out and get... Uh... Steve, is it fair to say we don't do great? Our stage manager is doing this, and he's pretty arrogant, so that's bad, yeah. <laughs> if he's willing to do this. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not even going. He's part of the problem. Yeah. He was probably a good high school athlete. Yeah. Still I thinks he is. I think he... <laughs> <laughs> Which is the problem, because once you get into your 30s and you're out there playing that ridiculous, stupid game called slow pitch softball, which is boom. <laughs> and these guys doing that. You are, it's just a matter of whether you tear an, uh, an ACL in your knee, yeah. whether you pop an Achilles, or whether you rupture a hamstring. Yeah. It's all going to happen. Of course. Because you're going to be going around pretending you're 18, and you're not. You're 32, yeah. and now you're face down. I played in a charity softball game, and the third time I came up, the charity coach, not a regular coach, just one of the other people at the charity goes, hey, you want to bunt this time? I was like, buddy, <laughs> was it that bad? Were my first two times up? I mean, I can't, like somebody doing the big swing, and then I just laid out a bunt. I was like, I'd rather, I'd rather just get, go home. Yeah. That's your first base. <laughs> yeah. uh, we were talking, I always uh, uh, like asking people who do Broadway shows, um, uh, you know, do people, because Carrie Russell was just here and said, you know, they played a song during her production of Burn This, and somebody just audibly said, I don't like this song in the audience. Uh, have you gotten vocal feedback like that from people who sort of have, there's a sense of entitlement, I think, at Broadway shows. Yeah, I mean, there's, we get a lot of oohs and ahs. I mean, there's a lot of power and moving things in the, in the, we had a guy the other night, I don't know why, he was, he was dead asleep. Uh-huh, yeah. Dead asleep. Uh, he was in his 90s, so God bless him for even showing up. Yeah. I mean, to get out of the house, that's yeah, already... out of the house. And but that's it a triumph. It literally was, it was this. <laughs> <laughs> I had a guy in the 80s, I was doing off-Broadway, and I had a guy sleeping in the front row. And I had some anger issues. <laughs> yeah. So I get over there, and I'm, I can see it, and I'm going, oh, I can't even believe... She says, I love you, and I go... I love you, too! <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I'm sure it got the boom! <laughs> uh, hey, congratulations on the show. Congratulations on the nomination. Always That's a pleasure so. to see you. Jeff Dins, everybody.